There's a ray of hope up there. His name is Maurice Davis. He's the vice president of the Flint City Council. He's a big Donald Trump fan, and I hear he thinks that Donald Trump can really help out a place like Flint. Uh, Maurice Davis, welcome to Newsmax. How are you? Thanks. Thanks for having me. I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine. Uh, do me a favor, Maurice. I'm hearing a big echo. I don't know if it's coming from you or it might be coming from back here. If we can go ahead and make that quick adjustment. Okay, thanks a lot. Uh, still work on it if you don't mind. So, Maurice, when did you first notice Donald Trump as a guy to be admired and someone who could help out your community? When he first got elected, uh, I, was, um, I, was, I was really happy when he came to Flint in the midst of our water crisis. And he came on our side of town. I was very impressed with President Trump when he was running. Sure. And you kind of, I hear you, you emulate him. You'd like to, he's got personality traits, and you'd like to, maybe you already have, adopt some of them. Oh, yes, sir. I'd like to be like President Trump. He his own man. He, he's not bought by nobody. He does what he want to do, and he does it well. I admire that. Very cool. Very cool indeed. Um, you remember when he came out and he said, and he was really speaking directly to the black community, the African-American community, and some yes. people were put off by this. Some people thought, wow, dazzling. But he said, what the hell do you have to lose? Try voting for me. And he was speaking to African-Americans trying to say that the Democrat Party had let you down. Uh, I know some people were offended. Some people really liked it. What did you think about that moment? I thought that moment he was speaking directly to Maurice Davis and my constituency. We are an impoverished community. We don't have nobody helping. Money comes to this community in the name of water crisis and everything else, but nobody really give a, uh, a nothing about the poor folks. And Mr. Trump, he gave us a lot of hope, even to the place where uh, Secretary of uh, State Ben Carson, he brought $30 million to Flint. Uh, Obama been here. He said our water... It's fine. You know, ain't nothing wrong with drinking lead. Today, Barack Obama gave the good housekeeping seal of the president to the troubled waters of Flint, Michigan. And Jerika Duncan is there. Can, can I get some water? Before a crowd of a thousand. I really did need a glass of water. This is not a stunt. President Obama took a sip of Flint's filtered now, tap water, assuring the people the there that There's he cares. I've got your back. Not too long ago, I received a letter. The president singled out eight-year-old Mari Kopany. Mr. President. She wrote him a letter in March expressing her concerns about the water. How would you describe the Flint water? It's nasty. Why is it nasty? It gives you bad rashes and headaches. Flint's water crisis began two years ago after the city switched its water supply from Detroit to the Flint River to save money. The water wasn't treated for corrosion, causing lead to leach from aging pipes. Three government workers have been charged with misconduct and conspiracy to tamper with evidence. One of them was arraigned today and pleaded no contest. Though officials now say filtered tap water is safe, Many, like Paris James, don't believe it. When they said it was okay, it wasn't really okay. The single mother's daily routine begins at 6 in the morning. Her three children get ready for school using bottled water. She drives them 20 minutes outside of Flint to her parents' house to bathe. So you refuse to pay your water bill? Mm -hmm. Why well, pay for poison? To date, the city has handed out more than 24 million bottles of water and over 100,000 filters. Scott, the mayor here says she wants to replace all of the pipes, but right now there just is not enough money to do that. Mr. Trump tried to do something about that. He, he's outstanding how he, he don't care what nobody say, he stayed focused on what needs to be done, and I admire that. And I wish other black folks get on board because the man ain't racist no kind of way. I never met him personally, but I go by your action, and I don't play. Miss, uh, Flint, Michigan need a Trump. This side of the United States, Michigan, we are hurting for somebody like Trump that does what they say they're going to do. 
Well, one day I have a feeling you are going to meet him. I feel very strongly about that, um, uh, Maurice, uh, very strongly indeed. You got about 75 instruments behind you. Uh, what's going on there? The music store or uh, you play all those things? What's what's happening? I'm a, I'm a national blues man. I'm a blues man. I've been a musician all my life. And that's how I make most of my living. Which is your uh, specialty? I see the drums. I see a bass guitar. I see a couple of other things. What do you like to play? That's, that's lead guitar. I play with everybody but B.B. King. Buddy guy and everybody. That's what I do. Maurice Davis, vice president of the Flint City Council. And by the way, did they fix, finally, the drinking water situation? Is it safe to drink now? No, no. We're in the same predicament. That's why we don't need to change horses in the middle of the stream. Mr. Trump, he really tried to help poor folks. I don't know where this new narrative comes from with the racism and all this other mess. I'm tired of people speaking for poor folks that don't have poor folks at heart. Mr. Trump would be the best thing for poor folks. And I'm, I'm mad about it because if he don't do it, what the hell we got to lose? Ain't nobody else doing it. Well, I'll tell you what, Mr. Davis, you know, Michigan is a swing state. It's tight up there. If you work uh, between now and Election Day and talk to people who might disagree with you, you can make the difference, the difference in the whole world. You. I, I feel that. I don't know. I hope you're planning to get out there and campaign and talk to people who might disagree with you and try to convince them that what you just told me. I already agree with you. That's the problem, though. How do you feel about that? I feel like this. You're going to find out election day. A lot of people are scared because of the ridicule you get for supporting President Trump. I don't care. I have nothing to lose. Nobody pay my, my bills come with my name on them. And there's a lot of black folks that feel just like Maurice feel. All right, but Maurice. They